I got this LED pin spot uh, from eBay in the post today and it said in the listing that it was a 240 volt unit and rather cryptically it said you had to supply your own plug. On the packaging it says power DC 12 volts so I don't know if by supply your own plug they meant supply your own 12 volt adapter but um, let's take a look at it. Slightly smaller than expected, but not to worry. Uh, slightly grubby as well. It's got a red and black lead which suggests it is 12 volt DC. So let's uh, try it out. Let's uh, get a power supply down here. Um, just turn the power supply on. Select it to... Twelve volts. Okay, let's see how bright this is. Not very bright at all, apparently. Twelve volts, not drawing any current. Okay. I don't want to swap the polarity. Uh, I think I'll open this up and take a wee look inside to see why this is the why this isn't working. Disappointing. It wasn't super expensive, so it's just kind of a toy. I thought it was quite novel looking. It was kind of a bit of a flippant purchase. I was buying some other stuff, floodlights and things from the seller, so I just thought I'd add uh, this. Mm. Okay. So what we got? We got a little power supply. We've got the collimating lens and then we've got the LED. Now it said uh, Cree chip and I'm not sure it looks, it's the, certainly the style of the Cree chip with the <coughs> Luxian star type um, carrier but with that tiny little high power chip in the middle. I don't see anything holding that down. Oh I think it's stuck down with um, silicon Okay, let's uh <coughs> rather oddly the red and black wires come in then go on to two red wires when it gets in here. Bit suspicious. The polarity may be wrong if they've just uh, marked it as the two um <coughs> red wires. Yeah. Okay, it's a little switching power supply. With a 400 volt capacitor. 4.7 meg fired, 400 volts. Is this a 240 volt unit? I wonder if it's a 240 volt unit and they've just left it. It seems odd that it's got the red and black uh, cable going in as if it is polarised. Maybe that's just the standard cable they use with them. Maybe it is 240 volt. With a capacitor that rating, well, there's only one way to find out. Note the uh, anti-tracking slot, that's unusual to see in these little power supplies. Looks like a little dedicated chip down there, and then the driver transistor. Okay, let's uh, stick this back in. Let's stick 240 volts through it. What's the worst that could happen? Well, it could go bang. It's got a fuse. That'll help. Oh, blimey, is this how it came out? Oh, 
all screw it back together before I do this. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll uh, just power it up like this. Oh, what the heck, yeah. Let's see if it goes bang. Main supply. I shall refrain from plugging it into my power meter initially in case it draws one bazillion gigawatts and makes lots of noise and smoke. Hmm, I wonder what voltage this cable's rated at. No earth, but it is a metal housing. Uh, well, it might not be 240 volts. Uh, let's try it out, shall we? One, two, three. Oh, that's bright. Uh, the red LED has lit. Okay, let's plug it into the power meter. 2.7 watts. So that really looks like it's a, a 3 watt driver and the lower forward voltage of a red LED is making it draw 2.7 watts. Not 3 to 5 watts as stated in the packaging, but not to worry. Okay, let's put this together again. Seems odd that the cable, the mains cable, runs directly across the LED. But then again, at that power rating, it's not going to get that hot. Hmm. Odd. The idea of a pin spot, it's a sort of a traditional disco light. It projects a very narrow beam, tightly focused beam of light, and it's used for things like mirror balls or just creating sharp beams of light in a sort of a theatrical or disco type environment. I don't know if the position of this lens is super accurate. Oh, it's actually quite sloppy, that lens. It's stuck down with sort of slick and goo. Okay. I think that's fairly well aligned. I'm just going to loosen them and just see if it's got any play at all. Nope, I think that's it. It's as good as I'm going to get. So let's put the cover on and I'll see just how much of a beam this thing produces. I will say that the LED is not super well aligned under that uh, lens. Well, on goes the cover. Ooh, the cover. I, I was hoping it was just going to slot into place there, but it doesn't. I won't put all the screws in at the moment. I'll just put three in just to hold it roughly in place, just to try it out. And I will note that it's a mains voltage product with not really super isolation as such. Can't really guarantee isolation for anything in China. So I'll hold it by the plastic bit. Alright, okay. It's producing a dot. It's producing a very, very sharp beam. Let's see if I can uh, get far away enough to actually show you this. Yeah, that's... um. Okay, that's from about uh, six feet. So let's see, um, at a distance of about, oh, I don't know. It's throwing quite a distance. It's got a bit of divergence. It, it diverges uh, from here to the end of the room, which is, uh, I'm not actually 100% sure how many feet that is. Uh, 30 feet, it diverges to about a foot square. Um, yeah. It's quite interesting, quite interesting indeed. That's quite a strong beam as well, so it should create a good smoky effect. I'll see if I can dazzle the camera with it. Yes, I can dazzle the camera with it. Yeah, interesting. And 240 volts after all, not 12 volts.